When I was little, I started riding actually in front of my mom. She would ride with me in front of the saddle and hold on to me. Um, and ever since then, I've been in love with horses and riding. And I just took that path and haven't looked back. A day at a horse show for me, I get here with the girl that works for me and we do stalls and I groom Havana and Flex and take care of them and then if there's any hacking that needs to be done, I do that and then I teach the clients or I teach lessons, go to the ring. I kind of share the duties with my mom so we kind of, normally we have 30 horses at a horse show so we split horses and do what's best for one another. And at home, same thing, I get up in the morning, except I just start riding, I have to ride 10 to 15 horses, but I tack everything up and put it away and bathe and do everything else. I think the benefit of being more hands-on is that you know your horses really well. I have a very strong connection with Havana and my other horse, and a lot of the horses in the barn. Um, I could tell you what they're like every day, what their legs look like, um, what tack they wear. Um, Havana, I've had her since she was four years old. She has been, it's, it's been a journey for sure. We just jumped the meters when I first got her as a four year old and I did the age classes with her. And then she slowly moved up and I started jumping the under 25s in Canada and she won the under 25 championship last year in 2021. And then this year I started stepping her up to the higher level and she's really, she's really come to her own and stepped up. Short term, I'd like to just get consistent jumping, like the three stars, four stars, um, and then I would like to eventually make a Canadian team. This kind of in the, the near future, make a Canadian team and then go from there.